By show of hands, how many people here is your first OWASP meeting? Your first? Great. Look around, guys. So the, the older guys in the room are the guys that have been in OWASP for a while. A lot of new folks in the room. Uh, if you are an OWASP member, if you have a blue star, if you're involved in any projects, if you ever spoke at an OWASP conference, if you've ever written any open source, can you raise your hand? Right. So there's a lot of us as well in the room on both sides. So as a user group, as a community, you know, that's kind of what the foundation's really about. Um, everyone's a volunteer, myself included. Um, so we spend a lot of time sort of just kind of getting together with folks and friends and kind of having collaboration. For the folks that know the history, uh, the chapters pretty much started off with like SQL injection and beer uh, and figuring out how things work uh, quite, some, quite a long time ago. Uh, and now we've been doing this since probably 2004, uh, myself at least. Um, so the foundation's really built on that and certainly the organization uh, is, is structured properly as a, uh, as a charity to kind of raise visibility for software security. Um, if you're in the, the position that you're uh, an organization and you're looking for hard to find talent, uh, this is the place to find that talent. Uh, I would highly encourage you to talk to Dawn. Uh, Dawn has got, she has lots of phone calls from lots of employers looking to find hard to find positions. Uh, she's currently accumulating those positions and very shortly we'll be announcing the OWASP New York City, New Jersey chapter uh, membership sort of matching system uh, that'll be a service to our members uh, that organizations that are looking for folks in this community will be able to uh, subscribe to that or be able to utilize that as a way to find you. Uh, so if you're looking for a confidential sort of search, uh, you should say hi to Dawn. So a couple of things, as I mentioned, you know, the chapter, whoop, let's see if we can make this full screen. Going, 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 good. Uh, so as a volunteer community, you know, the, the focus here is really trying to, you know, kind of increase um, sort of the, the security space uh, here in all different aspects, uh, from secure code to explanations to individuals, whether it be legal professionals, politicians, business owners, uh, about why software and software security is kind of important. Uh, for many of us, this is also a hobby, uh, and we, we're lucky enough to have jobs in the space, so it doesn't usually stop once the bell rings, if you will. Uh, we seem to do this stuff all the time. Um, the organizations also seem to attract a lot of folks that have uh, you know, great principles, right, that are looking to jump in and help out whenever possible. Uh, at several meetings, we've had people have a really hard problem, uh, whatever that may be, uh, and they ask a question like, hey, how would you do this? That's a great reason to come up here and say, hey, I have a question. I have a, a whiteboard principle that I'm trying to solve. How would you guys collectively maybe solve that problem? So if you have those sort of suggestions or those sort of questions, um, this is definitely the forum to, to, to do those sort of conversations with a bigger crowd. Uh, I'd like to also call out and thank the organizers and leaders uh, in the room, some of them and some of them that can't make it here tonight. But these are the folks that, you know, behind the scenes make a lot of this happen between uh, doing logistics, setting meetings up, organizing speakers, venues. It's a lot of work that goes into this. And again, everybody's a vol volunteer. Jolly's nice enough to come out and do a lot of video recording of our content to make sure it's available. And any of the speakers, uh, they have that sort of as a, uh, as a token. Uh, from the chapter, uh, but certainly this stuff doesn't happen uh, without people's time and effort, so special thanks to them. And if you have some cycles, if you think there's something we can do better, uh, and you think you can do it, uh, we'd like to help you step up and actually you know, take charge there. So if you think we're not doing a good enough job in you know, reaching a community or marketing or you know, something we should be doing differently, happy to have you take a shot at it and make the chapter better. That's how we've done this from day one. Um, as I mentioned, the Blue Star folks, uh, thanks very much. Those are our members. What that really means, guys, is that you know, there is a, a, about 43,000 community members in OWASP worldwide. Um, the Blue Star members simply, you know, like any other professional association, can vote in elections. Uh, and certainly when people are running on the Why Me ticket, uh, it's probably important to understand sort of where the direction of the organization's going. Uh, if you don't know, I served as the vice chairman of OWASP Foundation for the last seven years. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm done with that. And I'm just back to focusing on things I like to work on and, products I, I work on on a daily basis. So as we get this structured, as we continue moving forward, uh, we are still very clear on our mission and our goals about simply raising visibility for software security. If we can tie that to what we're doing as a group, it's almost like rubber stamped, right? So, hey, we're gonna do X because it's gonna do Y. It's gonna raise visibility for software security. Um, that's kind of like our, our overarching mission. So anytime that sort of happens, that's kind of how you can plug in with your, your concept or idea. Uh, we want to have a streamlined program, so we tried our best to the beginning of the year to have events all the way out to December, and our last event this year will be over at Goldman Sachs. Um, so the concept is, is that you know, venues have to step up, give us space, sponsors have to step up and help us offset costs for food, 
And of course, we want to get talented speakers from our community to step up. So all those things are kind of important. Uh, that goes back to our, you know, our, our community growth or you know, member growth. And lastly, project summits, right? OWASP is not a group that focuses on lots of seminars and presentations like this. This is not really the main core of our organizational uh, uh, focus. It's actually working on projects. Uh, so if you're uh, looking to add best practice, compile code, work in an environment that you can have uh, colleagues that can work with you or, um, uh, or can create a, an end work product, um, we would like to help that facilitate that here at the chapter as well. So don't feel that you're working in a vacuum or you are looking for people to work with. Come see somebody, raise your hand, come up and do a talk about what you want to work on. You'll quickly find a lot of other folks that are there. From an OWASP investments perspective, um, Again, we've been doing this now since 2004. This chapter has approximately about $40,000 in, in its coffers, uh, which is you know, useful, uh, because anytime I say to somebody, hey, what would you spend $10,000 on for this chapter, I always get the blank stare. Um, so this is the sort of thing that, you know, it's pretty transparent, right? Everything we're gonna do is gonna be broken out as to how it happened, who spent it, where the money went, no conflict of interest, blah, blah, blah. It has to sort of pass the smell test in front of everybody in order for this to work, and it's been working pretty well. Um, so, I, again, once again, I'd always, I always point that out, that you know, with a small amount of money uh, in the bank that helps sort of this thing stay alive, uh, if you have a suggestion that costs money, uh, you know, it's a great opportunity to say, hey, I got a great concept, but I'm gonna need five grand. Um, that sort of stuff gets floated in front of the community. We kind of say, hey, what do you guys think? We debate, and then we just go forward. It's that simple. Um, recently, there was a sponsor, uh, New York Internet, that's here in the city, as well as in Bridgewater, New Jersey. Um, they stepped up and said, hey, you know, does your group have a virtual environment that they can play in, a virtual lab, if you will, uh, that is hosted? And we're like, yeah, well, currently we're over at Rackspace, right? OWASP is uh, headquartered over at Rackspace, and Rackspace donates the infrastructure for the OWASP wiki and, and associated systems. So New York Internet said, okay, well, that's nice, but they're in Texas. You know, you guys are in New York. Uh, you know, what can we do for you? you know, can we help you? So New York Internet recently signed an agreement with the local chapter through our corporate, uh, you know, organization. Uh, that now New York Internet is going to take on a virtual headquarters for us. Uh, what that means is that very shortly, now that we have a full rack in their redundant data center and we have equipment, uh, I'm going to assemble a team, so it's kind of a call for volunteers, uh, to help architect and deploy a virtual web. Uh, all OWASP chapter members, New York, New Jersey, are going to be issued a two-factor token, and then they'll have access to go inside this environment and work on different things, open source tools, commercial tools that are donated, whatever it may be, it's gonna be an environment that can be used for educational purposes, academia, as well as a value to being a member. So that might be something that you might be interested in. But if you have cycles, uh, or you have an organization that you can maybe give us, uh, give us cycles of a few people, that might be helpful at the end of the day. Uh, this won't happen without um, our own effort and time, but it's a pretty cool opportunity to then roll it out globally, but start locally, right? So it will be available to OWASP members worldwide, after we get our, get our stuff going here. So again, new products are really important. Um, recently, NJIT had uh, stepped up and did a project uh, discussion with me. Uh, as you may or may not know, some of us have worked on the OWASP testing guide, how to hack applications 101, right, how that process works. Uh, and NJIT uh, was embracing that document, and they wanted to kind of build a back-end database. Uh, about how to go ahead and have those findings be in a, a public manner, so p organizations could do this in sort of a uh, some sort of an open and transparent model. They can download sort of a pen test manager, if you will, type of a database. So uh, we funded that. We granted money to that NGIT, uh, and that project did stall this this quarter, but will restart next quarter through Professor El Jabari. So again, if you're in academia, if you're looking for the opportunity to work with OWASP, uh, as you, many of us would agree that when we're not under NDA, we have fun doing our side projects. Um, this is a great opportunity to raise visibility for, for students in the academia space. Common questions always, you know, got talk, right? I wanna do a talk, or hey, that talk I just saw wasn't very cool, I wanna see something better or something different, what can you do? Um, it's not my job to go out and find speakers, right? It's our job as a community to kind of collaborate on what we're doing. So if you're working on a project and you can do something uh, and stand up and present on it, and you're not under NDA, that would be great, because obviously a lot of us are, uh, but it would be wonderful to be able to have uh, projects or pet projects that you're working on, particularly OWASP projects, uh, that can be uh, sort of highlighted. Um, so when we structure these, I kind of kind of wrote this in, in such a way that says, anything to do with software, but some people wanted to get granular. So we kind of broke it down. 
if it's an OWASP product, there's, there's 135 of them currently. If your talk is about any of those projects, it's like autoly, automatically approved. Like there's no question. It goes on the next meeting, uh, which we are looking for speakers for. It's over at Tumblr. Um, in addition, any of the other projects that are there, when the talk is submitted, there's a few members in the crew here that are part of the speaker committee. Again, asking more people to volunteer to be a part of that to help keep the quality up, right? Someone submits a, a title, Joe Blow's hacking tool and an abstract, it sounds really cool. And either we rubber stamp and say, yeah, it sounds good, we know the guy, he's a good guy, blah, 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 and you know, he's up on our, up, up on our presentation panel. Uh, or the speaker committee goes, I don't know, this doesn't smell right, or this talk doesn't sound right, let's ask for slides and let's go a little deeper to make sure that it, the content is, is caliber. Um, so if you want to be on a speaker committee, uh, there's always opportunity to do that. So OWASP Foundation is a trade organization, right? Although they are structured as a 501c3 uh, charity, uh, they are an organization that takes funding from sponsors, sponsors ranging from you know, vendors as well as organizations like UPS uh, that you know, uh, donate money to the foundation to keep its mission going. Uh, everything about OWASP, as you may or may not know, is online, uh, but the point of it is, is that you know, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be possible to do a lot of what we're doing without, again, sponsors to kind of keep this thing going. So if you'd like to, potentially raise your visibility as a, as a you know, community supporter, please talk to Don. Uh, we'd love to uh, work something out with you for an upcoming event. And speaking of upcoming events, we have the July 15th date, so, so tag that in your calendar. That'll be a Tumblr. We have two speaker slots currently open. So uh, when you submitted your RSVP, some of you were asked the question of what you want to see. So yes, of course, we try to reach out to people that we know in the community that say, hey, you're, you're in New York, you're the best on this topic, can you come talk about it? But certainly if you uh, want to reach out or send a few emails or throw up some tweets, that would be wonderful. Uh, August 6th through 9th, the way it's great is because a lot of us go out to that conference, Black Hat DEF CON. So if you're all going out there, there are some activities. There's a dinner planned, an OWASP dinner planned at Black Hat. There's some DEF CON activities planned as well. It's kind of always cool as a community to kind of get somewhere and find out, hey, I got 20 of my guys with me from New York, right? It's kind of a, kind of a good crew. September 14th to the 18th, we are doing some training. Uh, if you're interested in, uh, does anybody here hold the certification that requires CPE credits? Like a uh, CISSP or uh, an ISACA certification or anything like that, show of hands? Okay, so there is another certification uh, in that space uh, called the Certified Secure Security Lifecycle Professional, I think that's what its acronym stands for. Uh, but the CSSLP is uh, being taught on the 14th to the 18th in the five day boot camp. Uh, that'll be done by this chapter. ISC Squared is bringing in a speaker. Uh, it's going to be a trainer, blah, blah, blah. So that'll be over at Pennsylvania Hotel, fairly convenient for most people. Uh, just don't stay there. Um, September 16th, we have the meeting over at Protivity. Uh, September 22nd to the 25th, this is actually important because it's AFSEC USA. Uh, if you are one that goes to the Black Hats, to the DEF CONs, to the RSAs, this is the OWASP equivalent, right? It's the OWASP event that was in New York a couple years ago, travels around the country. But pretty much the San, the San Francisco event will probably be three, maybe 3,500 people, uh, and it's from people all over the world. So a lot of the top talent from the AppSec space, if you haven't already submitted your talk, um, you may have missed that, uh, but certainly it does have a, a lot of folks that will show up there, so great opportunity. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We are looking for a venue. Uh, we were working with another group, trying to do a joint meeting. Uh, unfortunately, that's fallen apart. Um, so we don't want to miss the opportunity to raise visibility in the month of cybersecurity month of October. Uh, so if you'd like to host that pretty important uh, meeting, we'd love to talk to you. Uh, and certainly if you're an organization that would like to partner with us, we'd like to do that as well. And lastly, December 7th, right? Goldman Sachs uh, is our closeout meeting for the year. Obviously there's some gaps in the calendar, but uh, we only have so much time. So if you have some cycles you want to step up, you want to have a social event, um, feel free to let us know. Uh, as I mentioned, HAPSEC USA is kind of big, so get your tickets now. And if you're traveling, uh, you know, there's a lot of chapters out there, a lot of good content. Don't forget to go to the website, take a look at what's going on. Uh, about 220 chapters now, and there's people like us doing this all over the world. So you know, it's kind of cool to walk into Morocco and sit down and wow, there's a meeting going on. I think that's kind of fun. So common question is, you know, how can you help, right? Because that's what this is about, right? How can you get involved in this open community? Um, because just like writing code, uh, it takes time and, and talent to do anything. So we're looking to recruit more people to be on the technical committees. If that's your forte, uh, if you're in a space and you're perhaps a, a membership-driven person or maybe uh, you work for an organization doing business development or sales or marketing, we need your help, right? It would be great to be able to help kind of foster this. Uh, our membership, I think, is like 2,300, 2,400 on Meetup. 
right? That's, that's great. Uh, and when we have meetings, we always have a good group of people turn out. Um, but it would be wonderful to have, you know, a much larger um, like community. But again, the security community is fairly small. So again, reach out to us and let us know if there's anything going on with that.